today on MTG Unpacked, the hunt for lottery cards continues and we are getting very close to the end of the series now. So it's time to bring out the big guns. Howard the Duck will be doing the pack blessings today. And if you are familiar with my other channel that is Pop Sideshow, we open all manner of Funko Pop figures. I'll leave a link to that in the description here if you want to check it out. Howard is a staple on that channel. He's in all these silly skits, or most of them anyway. So I'm hoping he will get us the crazy tools we need because we need those lottery cards. So let's get stuck into this. We start off with Oath of the Gatewatch. Only one more episode of this series left. So I hope we get something Eldrazi Aggressor, Core Sidemaster Negate, Kozilek Shrieker, Netcaster Spider, Zeta's Commando, Crumbling Vestige, Containment Membrane, Hedron Crawler, Tar Snare, and for the Uncommons we have a Cliffhaven Vampire. Make a stand, Immobilizer Eldrazi, and before I reveal the rare, note that we could actually, in theory, pull five lottery cards in this video. I don't know what the chances are, they're probably slim to none, but wouldn't that be fantastic indeed? And rare is a Tyrant of Valakut. Wah 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 wah. Creature Dragon 5-4. The seven mana would surge, three and two mountains. You may cast this spell for its surge cost if you or a teammate has cast another spell this turn. And he has flying. And when he enters the battlefield, if its surge cost was paid, it deals three damage to target, creature, or player. And a nice full art mountain. And an old drowsy scion token. Alright, so nothing there. Moving right along. See how we do with Kaladesh. Hopefully we'll get a crazy pull here. We have a Tassel Dromedary, Ether Theorist, Reckless Fire Weaver, Inspired Charge, Appetite for the Unnatural, Dukara Scavenger, Salivating Gremlins. There they are. They're salivating over the prospect of a lottery card. Workshop Assistant. Hunt the Weak, Torch Gauntlet, Contraband Kingpin, first of the uncommons here, Longfin Sky Whale, fantastic card, not Experimental Aviator, and the rare is a Botanical Sanctum, not bad, enters battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. Add a forest or island to your mana pool. And a mountain and a servo token. So no lottery cards there. Onward. Ether Revolt. Can still get an invention, people. Hold out some hope. Because Howard, Howard brings the goods. Now and then. Embral Gear Smasher. Ether Swooper, Decommission, Cruel Finality, Unbridled Growth, Fourth Bridge Prowler, Negate, Renegade Map, Destructive Tampering, and for the Uncommons we have a Skyship Plunderer. I'm having trouble with these cards. Oh, there's a nice one. Fatal Push. Instant for a single swamp. If you're not familiar, destroy target creature if it has converted mana cost 2 or less, and revolt, destroy that creature if it has converted mana cost 4 or less. Instead, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, one of these staple cards from the last rotation, Pima Ethesir and Baral's Expertise, sorcery for 5, return up to 3 target artifacts and all creatures to their owner's hands. You may cast a card with command mana cost 4 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Ooh, nice! We get a Foil Oath of Ajani. 
Legendary Enchantment for two. When Oath of Ajani enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And Planeswalker spells you cast cost one less to cast. And a forest and an energy reserve. Okay, so not too bad. Foil rare. Still not what we were looking for. Okay, Armin Ket. Are we going to pull an invocation here? We need an invocation, please. Howard, where are the invocations? We need them. Oh, I'll just keep shaking your bubble head like that. Okay. Jeru's Resolve. Naga Oracle. Cartouche of Zeal. Sparring Mummy. Quarry Hauler. Wander in Death. Hooded Brawler, Luxor River Shrine, Compulsory Rest, and for the Uncommons we have a Bone Picker, he was pretty annoying back in the day, Death Touch, very nasty beast, Runas' Monument, Lay Bear the Heart, and the Rare is a Curator of Mysteries, Creature Sphinx 4-4 four, four, for 4 mana with flying whenever you cycle or discard another card, Scry 1. And for cycling with an island, you can pay that cost, discard a card, and draw a card. And a foil. Oh, another foil rare. Not bad. Oracle's Vault. So this is an artifact for four. Pay two and tap. Exile the top card of your library. Until end of turn, you may play that card. Put a brick counter on Oracle's Vault. And you can tap. Exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Oracle's Vault. Alright, so we do have some shininess, but it's not the shininess we want. We get a Swamp and a Warrior token. Okay, so no lottery card there. We need some extra blessings, Howard. Hour of Devastation, that's the one, right? Yes, that will get us the crazy pulls. Actually, that's pretty cool. He spins rather nicely. All right, so enough amusement. We have work to do here, people. We have lottery cards to pull. Okay, Avon of Enduring Hope. And I really hope we get an invocation this time around. Firebrand Archer, Solitary Camel. Wretched camel! Zombie camel! How do you like your camels? Wretched or solitary? Leave a note in the comments. Beneath the Sands. Survivor's Encampment. Gift of Strength. Crash Through. Oketra's Avenger. And for the Uncommons we have Ipnu Rivulet. Dunes of the Dead. Whoa, spoilers. Obelisk Spider and... Oh, come on. I can't get the... <laughs> and the Mythic! I was going to say and the Rare. No, it's a Mythic. The Locust God. Legendary Creature God. 4-4 four, four for 6 mana with flying. Whenever you draw a card, create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature token with flying and haste. And for two and an island and a mountain, draw a card, then discard a card. When Locust God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. So, he's no Scarab God, but I'll take it. Any of these legendary creature gods are pretty cool. Ooh, another foil rare. Nice. Apocalypse Demon. Creature Demon. Star Star for six mana. With flying, Apocalypse Demon's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. And at the beginning of your upkeep, tap Apocalypse Demon unless you sacrifice another creature. And we get a forest and one of these token cards. So, I don't think we can complain too much. We did get lots of foil shininess. Leave a note in the comments if you think we got hosed by Howard. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And MTG Unpacked is now on Patreon, so if you want to get in on all the pack-cracking goodness, 
I'll leave a link to that in the description for this video. And if you saw yesterday's video, the Thanksgiving one, we put everything from those gift packs, including some Juicy Mythics, into the Patron Snack Pack. So the lucky patrons get some cool pulls there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.